Welcome to Glass Technologies Maxim Windshield Repair Training Video. Using either the bullseye tool or the star breaker, make a break in the glass for repair. Note that breaks are created in all shapes and sizes. The most common breaks are listed as a bullseye, star, and combination. Establish that the damage is isolated to the exterior layer of glass by checking for damage to the interior layer. To do this, run your razor blade along the underside of the brake to detect any ruptures in the surface. If the impact has resulted in any damage to the interior layer of the windshield, the windshield is considered unrepairable and should be replaced. Consult the Rolex standard for additional information regarding repairable windshield damage. Using the carbide tip of the pit probe tool, carefully clear away any unstable fragments of the glass from the impact point. This will help ensure a flush finish to the repair. Should you need to clean the glass before continuing with the repair process, be sure not to introduce any cleaning agents or chemicals into the brake. This can be accomplished by temporarily covering the brake with a piece of tape. Next, plug the 12 volt drill into the Maxim Machine drill receptacle. And adjust the speed to your preference on the Maxim Machine. Note a higher speed will diminish the life of the bit. Equip the 12 volt powered drill with a glass cutting bit and drill out the center of the impact point approximately two millimeters. It is not always necessary to drill out the center of a break. Using a small amount of suction cup lube, wet the suction cup of the 2 inch mirror and attach it to the inside of the windshield. Position it underneath the brake. Thread the injector into the bridge. Back out the bridge adjusting screws so that they, along with the injector, do not restrict the bridge suction cup from properly attaching to the glass. Position the inspection mirror off to one side of the brake. Using a small amount of suction cup lube, lubricate the bridge suction cup and fully compress it onto the glass. Using the 2-inch mirror to view the injector seal, begin lowering the injector toward the glass until partial contact of the seal is observed. This is evident by a darkening of the seal from white to gray. Next, lower the bridge adjusting screw until they touch the glass. Continue to adjust the tension of the injector and bridge screws until a uniform band of gray, approximately 2 millimeters, is achieved across the surface of the injector seal.
With the injector and bridge properly aligned and tensioned against the glass, slide the mirror back over the brake, followed by the bridge and the injector. Pull up slightly on the neck of the bridge when repositioning the injector over the brake. This is to prevent the injector seal from being cut or damaged by any broken glass on the surface. Once over the brake, ease the injector back onto the glass. Check the placement of the injector seal to ensure that it completely encloses the area of missing surface glass. Note, if the pit is too large to fit inside the injector seal, a large pit adapter can be used which increases the seal capacity of the injector. Glass Technology offers a full line of diamond clear windshield repair resins for all climates and temperatures. Referencing your manual, select the appropriate resin for the repair at hand and fill the resin reservoir with approximately five drops. Use the tip of the resin bottle to also lubricate the black seal of the reservoir. Locate the notch in the neural of the reservoir which corresponds to the position of the locking pin on the reservoir. Align it with the notch on the side chamber of the injector body and fully insert the reservoir into the side chamber. Next, turn the reservoir until the two notches are no longer aligned. This will rotate the locking pin into a groove that prevents it from pulling out. Next, attach the air hose to the injector through the quick connect feature. Then attach the other end of the air hose to the quick connect on the Maxim machine. Using the vacuum pressure toggle switch on the Maxim machine, flip the switch to vacuum until the needle stops moving. Allow it to sit in this vacuum position for one full minute. Note, high elevations will read 25 to 26 inches of mercury, where sea level will read 29 inches of mercury. After a minute has passed, slowly rotate the injector body to change the position of the side chamber and resin reservoir from 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock. Allow several seconds for the resin to completely drain from the reservoir and then flip the vacuum pressure toggle switch to 25 pounds of pressure. This will allow the resin to further penetrate the cracks of the repair. Hold in the pressure position for a full two minutes. End the first pressure cycle by using the vacuum pressure toggle switch and flip the switch back to vacuum until the needle stops moving. This is the beginning of your second vacuum cycle. Hold in the vacuum position for another full minute. Now begin the second pressure cycle by flipping the vacuum pressure toggle switch to 30 pounds of pressure. Hold it in the pressure position for a full two minutes. The flexing technique is performed to improve the resin flow into tight areas of the repair. This is done by switching the tip of the pit probe from the carbide tip to the blunt aluminum tip. Using the blunt tip, apply direct pressure to the fractures as they begin to exit from underneath the tip of the injector. This slight downward pressure will cause the fractures to flex apart or open, allowing for better penetration of the resin. For correct pressure, apply just enough weight to cause the fractures to separate or become more visible. Maintain consistent pressure until the resin can be observed flowing into open areas providing clarity to the glass. This technique is only used during a pressure cycle.
continue to repeat additional vacuum and pressure cycles as necessary to achieve a maximum fill of the brake. Always end on a pressure cycle. The Diamond Blue Wave is an advanced UV LED curing technology that can be added to any glass technology windshield repair systems. Return to the main menu and select the Diamond Blue Wave for the correct curing and finishing techniques associated with this curing device. If the Diamond Blue Wave is not part of your system, continue watching the remainder of this training video. After establishing that the brake has been filled, plug in the 12 volt lamp. Flip the switch to the on position and place it next to the injector so the UV light shines onto the repair. This will initiate the curing of the resin while it's still under pressure in the injector. Allow the lamp to sit in this position for a full two minutes. Temporarily remove the lamp and depressurize the injector by removing the air hose. Then lift up on the edge of the bridge suction cup and release it and remove the bridge and the injector from the glass. Immediately, apply a small amount of pit filler resin just above the impact point of the brake. Allow the resin to gently flow into the pit before lightly placing a pit square over the top. You may also wipe away any excess resin from the glass which is not covered by the pit square. Reattach the lamp to shine directly over the repair and initiate the curing of the pit filler resin. Allow the lamp to sit for another three minutes Note, you cannot overcure the resin, therefore no damage will result from allowing the resin to cure longer than three minutes. After the required curing time has expired, remove the lamp and peel away the pit square to expose the resin. Check to see that the resin is solid, indicating that the resin is ready for scraping. With the razor blade in hand, stand the blade up tall with the cutting edge against the glass. Begin running the blade back and forth across the repair in all directions using the surrounding glass as a guide to achieve a level surface. When you're finished scraping, use your finger to check that the surface is smooth. Note, if the surface has any low spots in it, a second application of pit filler can be applied for re-scraping the surface. Notice that the scraped pit filler appears dull. To improve the finish, apply a small amount of pit gloss to the area and use a paper towel to buff the remaining pit filler until it appears shiny and clear. Finish the repair process by thoroughly cleaning the windshield inside and out for final inspection. Congratulations on a great windshield repair. Finish the repair process by thoroughly cleaning the windshield inside and out for final inspection. Congratulations on a great windshield repair.